In one of my recent videos, I built this miter saw station out of 2x4s. I left the bottoms open with the intention of adding different storage options underneath, and today I'm going to build a set of drawers under the drill press module so I can store all my bits and various accessories. For this build, I'm using one full sheet of half inch plywood. As usual, I had it cut down into manageable sizes at the store, and then made the final cuts in the shop. I'm going to make three shallow drawers and one deeper drawer. So after ripping down all my pieces to width, I moved over to my miter saw to cut them to length. Now my miter station is 24 inches deep, so I bought some 24 inch drawer slides. But before going any further, let me point something out. Euro slides are metric, so 600 millimeters is actually 23 and 5 eighths. To avoid any confusion or errors, I'm going to use the metric system to build these drawers. For once. So since my slides are 60 centimeters, I set my stop block to 60 centimeters too, and cut all the sides for my four drawer boxes without moving the stop block. With all of the sides cut to length, I could move on to the front and back pieces. I started by measuring the width of the opening and used this method to figure out the exact length I would need to cut. Basically, you take the width of your opening, minus the thickness of both slides, minus twice the thickness of your plywood. I set my stop block to the width of the opening minus the 2.5 centimeters to account for the drawer slides. Then to account for twice the width of the plywood, I simply used two offcuts that I placed up against my stop block. Because plywood thickness can vary, I find this method easier than doing the math and less prone to making errors. Oof, okay, the hard part is out of the way and I can now move on to making pocket holes to prep for assembly. I made the pocket holes in all the front and back pieces using the half inch shedding since I'm using half inch plywood. To assemble the drawer boxes I used some wood glue and one inch pocket screws. It helps to use a clamp to hold the boards in alignment during assembly, at least for the first few screws. If you have any questions about any of the materials that I use for this build, I'll leave links to all the products in the description below. I repeated the very same process on the other side of the box and was then ready to move on to the drawer bottom. I measured and cut a bottom panel to size, again using half inch plywood. I then secured the drawer bottom using glue and brad nails. Now there are plenty of methods for building drawers and this is just one of them, but for shop drawers I just want something simple and functional, so this is the method I went with. After wiping off the excess glue it was time to move on to the drawer slides. As I mentioned before, I'm using Euro slides for the first time. I've used ball bearing slides for bigger drawers in the past, but I decided to try these out to save on costs a little, and really just to try them out. Installation on the drawer boxes is pretty simple. You just place the slide on the bottom edge of the drawer and attach it with the provided screws. Installation on the cabinet was not as easy, but we'll get to that next. I've already attached the top slides as you can see. Now since my total drawer height is 4.5 inches including the bottom, I measured down 5 inches to allow for enough clearance with the drawer above. After making a mark, I simply lined up the bottom of the slide with the mark and used a sharpie to mark out the pilot holes I'll need to make. For the back end I used a magnetic level to make sure that the slide was level and marked out the pilot hole. Working in tight spaces is not fun. But anyhow, I made the pilot holes and then loosely attached the front screw and the back one, then check for level again before fully tightening the screws. I repeated the same fun process on the other side and was then finally ready to install the drawer, and I was happy to see that everything fit just as planned. When I reached the bottom drawer I noticed I would have an issue with the rear 2x4 cross support being in the way. It won't be a problem for the slide itself since I can install it just below the 2x4, but I'll need to make the drawer box itself shallower. After a quick measure, I trimmed down the side pieces I had previously cut and assembled the box just as before. When installing the slides, just remember that the part with the wheel needs to stick out since this will be the back side of the drawer. After installing the slides, I could do a test fit to make sure everything fit nicely. You'll notice that because the drawer isn't as deep as the slides, it doesn't extend fully, so ideally you would use a shorter slide for this drawer, but I can live with this. Alright, with all my drawer boxes made, I can move on to making the drawer fronts. 
My opening is 20 inches, so I'm going to allow for a half inch overhang on each side and make the fronts 21 inches. I started with the bottom drawer and measured the height so it would sit just below the drawer above without interfering. I cut the fronts out of 3 quarter inch plywood and used some spring clamps to hold the front in place and adjusted it until it was centered and the bottom was flush with the drawer box. And finally, I checked for level just to be sure. Once I was happy with it, I drilled some shallow pilot holes making sure not to go all the way through and secured the drawer front with some screws from inside. Then I essentially repeated the same process working my way up through the drawers using washers as spacers between the drawer fronts. It helps to pull out the drawer slightly so you can hold it in position and check the alignment with the bottom drawer. Again, once I was confident, I used some spring clamps to hold the front in place and secured it with some screws after making some pilot holes. I'm using some leftover drawer knobs I had lying around, but as you may have seen me do in my router table video, I first applied a couple coats of red spray paint. For some reason, I'm really digging red as an accent color around the shop. To install the knobs, I first mark a center line and then use this cabinet hardware jig to make the screw holes. It's not necessary, but certainly helps to make the positioning of the knobs consistent. I noticed that my screws would be too short to fit all the way through, so I'm going to countersink them using a Forstner bit. I find it easiest to clamp a template made from a scrap piece of wood, so it's easier to make the hole by guiding your Forstner bit so it won't bounce around. Then I just screw the knob into place, and voila! I love having this extra storage in the shop for all the stuff I never know where to put. For now I'm just going to store my Forstner bits and drill bits so they're close to my drill press. In the bottom I've got some of my table saw accessories, and I'm sure the rest of the drawers will fill up in no time. What would you put in them? Hey, I hope you liked this video, and if you did, please give it a thumbs up. And if you're not already subscribed to the channel, I'd love to have you, so be sure to hit that subscribe button. Until next time, thanks for watching, see you soon.